up back here, Bluegrass Bushcraft. Another cold, rainy day here in Kentucky. Seems like that's all it does anymore is rain. I've been wanting to build my ammo box stove, but uh, I've got a few more pieces I need to collect before I start on that. And uh, here I do a little wood carving. Got a piece of this uh, mimosa that uh, James from Old School with a Modern Twist gave me that I carved the spoon out of in my last video. Always been wanting to try the Cusca, if I'm pronouncing that right. I just call it a wooden cup. Anyway, I've drawn out a rough uh, way I want the top of it to be. So, uh, it's hard wood to carve on, but let's see what happens. Got the bottom of that fairly level with the bottom of the cup. All right, let's go from here. Okay, this log had a lot of dry rot on the back side, so, so I was chopping on that. I mean, I had to go down a lot thinner than I wanted to. So I'm not going to have near the depth I wanted in there, but um, we're still going to go with it. This is going to be my first one. I mean, don't know how it's going to turn out anyway, so we'll just make a shallow cut and see what happens. And they're roughed out. Just real short, quick uh, chops, just a little, little shaving at a time, getting my shape.
All right. Chip a big chunk out of the top of it there. I think I'm going to lose a little more of my dip. But still going to keep at it. Alright. We got it basically roughed out with the hatchet. By the way, James, still loving this hatchet. I really am. Uh, he's done a fine job on it. It's become a great wood carving tool for me. Anyway, this is all roughed out with the hatchet. Still got that big chip out of there. Not sure how I'm going to deal with that yet, but we'll see. Okay, we basically got her roughed out. I got most of my hatchet marks carved out of it. And uh, let's call this end of part one. It's going to be a two, maybe three part series. So, uh, we all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless everybody.